with more Barnstable this morning. It is our Do Adoptable Pet Friday. Brittany Pickle uh, from the MSPCA is here. I've got Sarah Mantle here, and we have Sugar. Sugar is so full cute. of activity. Brittany, she tell me is. a little bit about Sugar. Sugar is a mini lop. She is about a year old. She came in, she was kind of abandoned by her owner. Um, she was given to a friend while the owner was moving, and then the owner never came back for her. Oh. So they were unable to keep her, so they brought her to us. She's adorable. She's beautiful. She really is. She's very affectionate, very social. She doesn't so much like being picked up, but when she's on the ground, which most rabbits prefer, she's very active and certainly adorable. very active. And you know, we've heard so much. I mean, at least I've heard so much these days about rabbits really as pets more like dogs and cats. I mean, I think you the kind of the the days of the rabbit in the hutch in the backyard are over. Is she like a, a house rabbit? That yes. You would... We prefer our rabbits to be indoors. Um, it's just safer for them. They're able to be climate controlled because they can't sweat or pant, so they really need uh, something not too hot, which they can get hot outside. They're just, they're indoor animals. They need to be handled like indoor animals, socialized every day, not just kept in a cage and forgotten about. Right. What, what are things that, that parents of, of bunny rabbits should know before can, taking on a, a pet like this? They do require a lot of cleaning. Um, they do need to be handled every day which can be a lot of work if you don't have the time to spend. They need to be taken out of their cage, preferably. They can be kept in a room even. They can be free roaming. They can be litter box trained, just like a cat. Wow. So they're a little bit neater than you Are they expect. difficult to train? No. They, really? they like to use a litter box. They prefer to hide it just like a cat. Um, you just put some hay in there to encourage them, and they usually pick up on it really quick. That's awesome. How well do they get along with other animals? Would, would this particular bunny be better in kind of a, a, a I'm just the only one kind of a situation? It's dependent. A lot of rabbits do like to have friends, but some rabbits just never get along. So bonding sessions are very time consuming, and you have to be vigilant about them. But she could very well get along with another rabbit. Absolutely. And just seeing her here, she's relaxed a little bit. She's not trying yeah, to run so away. Sweet. Looks great on camera. <laughs> Um, so if people want to see Sugar, if they'd like to uh, to learn more about adopting her, um, I guess people can come to the MSPCA in Centerville, exactly. Absolutely. So sweet. So we have some other pets today as well, we not do. just Sugar. Um, we have, uh, you know, we had, and again, I'm so excited because last week our, our debut, you brought Xavier and you brought Hammy, and both of them have gone to their forever homes. They have. And of the two kittens, one of them is basically adopted out as already. Wonderful. Wow. Okay, so this next pet is kind of unusual. Oh boy. <laughs> and speaking as like a, <laughs> as a person who has snakes for pets, I'm a little freaked out by a rat. But this is Simon. Oh, Look how cute he is. He is cute. really cute. Rats are really smart. They're domesticated. Like this is a domesticated rat. This is not like a rat you'd see on the streets. He is very social, very friendly. Um, he's young. He's about a year. And look at him. He's he really is. Oh, adorable. he is adorable. He came in with a rat friend, Darwin. Darwin is also up for adoption. Um, but they do require vet care, which not everybody knows about small animals, um, for their teeth. They do need to have their teeth checked out to make sure that they're trimming them on their own because they do constantly grow, unlike sure. people. Interesting. How long do rats live and, and what kind of care do, do they need? They're about two to three years. Um, they, they require care in the sense that you need to make sure that their teeth are not overgrowing. Um, they do develop tumors occasionally so you have to monitor for that but otherwise you know you can keep them kind of like rabbits and guinea pigs you keep them in a cage but you do want to take them out all the time and just hang out with them sure socialize them and yeah. again with with other pets I mean I would you know cats and rats is, is I would probably keep them away just because of the prey instinct of a cat or a dog maybe mm. the way they move might draw them a little Absolutely. too much attention but rats get along with other rats very well so what do they eat they eat rat food. They do also eat vegetables and fruit. Like any small animal, they need the vitamins. Um, so he likes lettuce and little small pieces of apple. I'm actually really surprised at how cute he is. You shouldn't be. All <laughs> my rats my sister had two rats as pets, and her kids loved them. Rats and mice are really, you know, they're, they're trending now. They're Absolutely. becoming more. And I've heard that rats are pretty smart, too. They're very intelligent. They require lots of toys and enrichment to keep them, their mind busy. Otherwise, they might work on trying to break out all day. Fantastic. So Simon, <laughs> again, he's up for adoption. He really, he's so sweet. Okay. All right, good to own. So now, cute. now we have the kittens. Now it's time for the kittens. <laughs> the ultimate. Oh my goodness. So we oh. have Elsa oh. and how pretty, itty, like itty bitty. Oh, she is itty. They, they are, are very <laughs> soft. They're like um, eight or nine weeks old. Oh my goodness. They came from a mom who was. 
just not spayed and was an outdoor cat and the owner couldn't keep all of them so we have all of them and their siblings at the shelter there's six others up for adoption they are they're typical kittens they're socialized but they do need to be um, interacted with a little bit more they can be shy around loud noises or new situations but sure I'm sure they'll get along with other cats maybe even dogs depending on the situation as long as they're introduced properly. Absolutely. <laughs> so these guys again, they're you know just mom that wasn't spayed, and again, there's there's the you know the call for make sure that you do spay uh, spay and neuter your your pets. Um, but I can't imagine it's difficult to adopt out if kittens as adorable as this. It's not. It's actually hard to find kittens now because of all of our spaying and neutering. So we encourage people if you're interested in the kitten, just call the shelter and we'll let you know if we have litters in foster homes and when they're getting spayed and neutered, so when they'll be available. Wonderful, and you know, you mentioned again. This was, uh, you know, these are the, the kittens of a of a mom cat who wasn't spayed or, or neutered or spayed rather, and the owner couldn't keep them. So maybe we can talk a little bit about, you know, what people can do if they find themselves suddenly with kittens that they just can't care for. We always say just bring them to us as long as they're kept with their mom while they're nursing. After that, after they've been weaned, then you're able to bring them in. We do also offer a free spay for mom cats if you bring us a litter of kittens. Just so that we can make sure you don't keep bringing them to us. Yeah. Um, but we just always encourage the mom cats to stay with the babies. If you're absolutely unable to do that, you can call us and we'll look into finding a foster home because we don't want them in the shelter. It's just, it's, it's a little stressful for them. Absolutely. What's the application process like? So if someone's watching and they're saying, oh my goodness, I need to go I to the MSPCA. Kitten. Yeah. Um, we just try to make sure that your, either your landlord allows pets or that you own your home. And if you have any current pets, we want to make sure that they're up to date with their rabies vaccine, which is required by law, just so that everybody is on the same page and nice and healthy. And what is the fee uh, for adopting a pet? Kittens are 200 but it's actually quite a deal because they come spayed or neutered. If they're old enough, they have their rabies vaccination, they'll be microchipped, dewormed, distemper, wean tick treatment, everything. Absolutely. So they have everything that they need. Um, Brittany, anything else about these pets that we've had today or about the MSPCA that you want to let our viewers know about? Just um, we have a spay, we have a, a neuter microchip clinic, rabies and microchip clinic. Sorry, we're talking about spaying and neutering. That's on my mind. <laughs> That's okay. And that is for $20 at the Yarmouth Police Department on April 30th. Wonderful. Excellent. Well, Brittany, I thank you so much for joining us Thanks here. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you, little kitties, and for joining we'll just us too. <laughs> We're and uh, cuddle yes. Great. Well, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back next Friday with more adoptable pets, and we'll be back in just a moment with more Barnstable this morning.